Check this out. Most people go to itch.io for game assets. But this pack, it's from a site you have never heard of. If you are making a game but you can't make your own assets, well, welcome to the club. Finding the perfect game assets can be hard. And it gets even harder when you are on a tight budget and looking for free ones. Sure, we all know about itch.io. It's a gold mine for free game assets. But let's be real. Sometimes you are looking for that one asset, the one that will bring your world to life, the last puzzle piece for your perfect level. And after 25 minutes of scrolling, you are on the last page and it's still not there. Yeah, I have been there. Painful. But over time, I have found some other hidden gems on the internet. So here are 4 websites every indie dev should know. Let's start with Polypizza. If you are making 3D games and want that sweet low poly style, Poly Pizza is your place. It's got everything, buildings, weapons, characters, and yes, even dungeon kits. But here's the best part. Most of the assets are under the CC0 license, which basically means you can use them in your game. You don't need to ask for permission. You don't even have to give credit, though it's always appreciated. And don't worry, free doesn't mean trash. A lot of these models are super clean and even come with basic animations. Just download the format you need, drop it in your game and boom, you are done. Alright, so that's 3D covered. Now let's talk 2D. If you have already checked itch.io for 2D art and came up short, let me introduce you to opengameart.org, one of the oldest and most underrated sites for free game assets. This site has everything, 2D, 3D, textures, music, sound effects, you name it. What makes Open Game Art special is its advanced search. You can filter by asset type, tags, and most importantly, license type. Need a 2D farming pack with a CC0 license? Boom, found in seconds. There's also a collections feature, super handy. It's like making a playlist of assets. You can browse community made collections like this pixel art collection. Or you can make your own. Say, you are making an endless runner. You can save all the assets that you find in a collection. Now this one's cool. What if you could turn any image into pixel art? Yeah, that's possible. Pixel Art Village has this cool tool, an image to pixel art converter. Drag and drop any image. Use the sliders to adjust pixel size, brightness, contrast and saturation. Boom, instant pixel art. You can also switch color palettes. There are a bunch of pre-built ones that you can use or you can create your own custom palette if you are going for a unique aesthetic. Alright, so we've got visuals covered. What about music and sound effects? Sure, open game art, free sound and itch.io have music and sound effects. But if you are still not finding that track, check out soundimage.org. It's run by one guy and he's composed thousands of tracks across every genre like action, chip tune, dark, drama, and so on. Now here's the catch. All the tracks are free to use, but attribution is required. Just include his name in your game credits or description. And the tracks are in mp3 format. But if you want them in OGG format, which is better for looping in games, there's a paid option for that too. So yeah, these are the sites I keep going back to as an indie dev. They have saved me time, money and possibly my sanity. Did I miss your favorite site? Drop it in the comments. I'd love to check it out and I'll see you in the next one.